Welcome to 25 Days of Dax Fridays, edition 3, day 7. Let's get started. Okay, so the question is how many high value orders were placed in 1997? So, high value orders, if we check the glossary, it says that orders above average sales value, which means that we first need to calculate the average sales value and then count how many orders are above that. Okay, let's do that. We go to order ID first, and then we're going to go to average sales value. So we put the total sales after this count, and then we're going to do in 1997 go to calendar year actually we can put it here year is 1997 so this is a table that we need to calculate the average sales so i'm going to export it to excel and then we get get back right so here's the data in excel this is the number of orders for 1997 this is the average you can see that it is the average of the total sales and is 1,512. That is the average sales value for 1997. So what we're going to do now is here say that is greater than 1512, I think it was. And then we put order ID and then we can actually do a counting here. distinct count because I took orders from the from the order details table distinct count and we get 145 so there are 145 orders above average sales value right so how do we do this now with DAX it's, it's not complicated let me show you so we go to DAX query we go to a new day which is day seven and then we start always with evaluate so the first thing that we're going to calculate is the order table where we're going to do all the calculations and because we're going to reduce that table i'm going to put it in a variable so this is going to be my order table and it's going to be summarize and then i'm going to summarize orders order ID. So I'm going to put the calendar year because we're going to filter by year after. And then I'm going to have a column that is revenue. And it's going to be the total sales after discount. Okay. Now, because this is a variable to be able to run it, you do return and then order table. Run. And there we get the table with all years and all sales. We want to have only for 1997. So we need to filter these where calendar year is equal to 1997. Rerun it. And now we have the same table that we exported to Excel, which is lovely. The next thing to do is to calculate the average revenue for this new table. So we're going to create a new variable and it's going to be the average sales value. And that is going to be the average of the order table that we just created, that one. And then we're going to do on revenue column. And instead of getting the results in the order table we've seen that we're going to get as a result the uh, average sales value and because it is a number we need to have row results just for now then we don't need to have it but just to see it so we get the same as we got with excel which is 15 12 lovely and now what we want to do is to do a new filter so we're going to now filter the order table that we created originally this order table where the total sales after discount is bigger 
than the average sales value that we just calculated. And I'm going to run it and show you what it does. You see? So now we're getting just a list of, of, of order IDs where the order ID is higher than the average sales value. And once we have this, we count rows. I'm not going to count rows here because it's, I have to do you know, the row stuff. It's a bit annoying. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to go to my measures table, new measure, D7. Based everything, but here in return, we want to count rows instead. D7, 145 orders above average sales value. Lovely. I will see you again tomorrow with day eight.